All right, guys, good boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting out here in the Freedom Shack, and what we have on the table is, of course, this is the Masterpiece Arms. This thing's chambered in the 65 Creedmoor. The cool thing about this guy is it is specifically designed to shoot the 140 grain ELD from Hornady. Now, it'll shoot the 147 real good. I'm sure it'll shoot that A Max or whatever they got the thing, the 153 grain real good as well. But the cool part about it is it would top this thing off with the primary arms. This is their 3 to 18 by 50 first focal plane scope with the Apollo reticle, which is designed specifically for the 140 grain ELDs. Now I'm not gonna get a whole bunch of reviews talking about the scope, but what I wanna do is talk more primarily, <laughs> primary, primarily about the Apollo reticle. Now I took this guy out and I'm going to put a demonstration video here in a few seconds and what I want to do before we do that, I'm going to take you back into the office and we're going to put the Apollo reticle up on the screen so that I can give you a good summary or description of what that reticle does. It, it, there's so much involved in that thing that it's perfect, but it is perfect for this guy as this, this rifle for me. Anyway, let's get on into the office there and let's talk details on the reticle and then I'll do the demonstration for you taking this thing from 100 to 1,000 yards at 100 yard increments minus the 900 yards because nobody cares about the 900 yards. I don't know why it is. Who cares about 900 yards? Anyway, let's get on into the office there and show you the reticle and we'll do the demo. Stand by. All right, guys, we're sitting here in the office and on my computer screen behind me is the actual Apollo reticle. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to move the camera over here so we can put it on the screen. I'm going to use my trusty little pointer here. I'm going to show you the highlights of this reticle and where you can benefit from it. So here we go. Stand by. OK, so first of all, let's start off by saying this reticle is set up in mils. The cross sections right here and here you can see the one mil increments with half mil dots in between each one here then you have one mil substantions all the way out here with half mil increments in between you also have a ranging bracket i'm not going to get into that right now but all you have to do is remember this a five foot ten man if you put him from here his head hits here his feet are here then he's at 400 yards 500 yards 600 yards 700 all the way out to a thousand the cross sections are increments in 18 inches. So if you've got a guy standing in front of you and your his shoulders go from here to here, then he's at 400 yards. Same thing all the way down. Also, I love the Chevron point right here. This is one of those things that gives you an infinite measurement or an infinite point for accuracy. It's absolutely incredible. Then you have two tenth mil increments right here and then this little squiggly marks those are one tenth mils now we're not going to get into that too much because there's a lot of uh, videos out there but what we're talking about here is this this is the bullet drop compensation for the 65 creedmoor set up with a 140 d i mean 140 uh, eld and what the reason it's set up for the 140 eld is because of the ballistic coefficients the muzzle velocities everything has to match now in the demo video I'm going to show you, I had a couple little misses. I wanted 800 yards. I think there was two misses at 800 yards, which really wasn't that big a deal. But what you want to do is when you get one of these things, make sure you calibrate it, not only zeroing it at 100 yards, but shoot it out to 800. That's what I did. And if you can hit center point at 800 yards, that means that you've got an equilibrium for every one of these things that you're going to be in that 10 inch circle when you hit. So. Basically, that's a pretty cool little deal there, as well as you have wind holds right here. Each one of these designate is a designated for 5 mile an hour wind. You have 5, 10, 15, and a full value of 20. And guys, a very simple reticle, very simple for setting up and shooting at targets out to 1,000 yards. So without that, let's go ahead and uh, check out this demo video. I'm pretty proud of it, man. Here we go. Stand by. So we're sitting out here at the range I have the masterpiece arms set up for the 140 grain elds which we just happen to be shooting today also the apollo uh, reticle from primary arms 3 to 18 which we'll be shooting today sorry i don't have a camera at the 900 yard target i didn't mean to put a target out at the uh, 100 yard but i did so we have a magazine somewhere around here and we're going to gauge those targets all the way out using the nothing but the apollo reticle uh, hardly any wind out here. We do have some overcast clouds are laying low that might play some roll in it, but I don't think so. Here we go. Let's do this. First target we're going to hit is the 100 yard and we're just going to work our way up. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Here we go. All right. 
200 yards. Three hundred yard. Now this is where it's going to get fun because I'm going to have to adjust the uh, elevation on this thing. Four hundred. We're going to use the uh, one that whops. That thing is loud. Sounds like somebody's spanking the back end of a cow. All right, we're going to bring it up to 500. All this steel today was brought to you by Primo Targets. Primo Targets, duh, 500 yards. Six hundred yards. That thing's sitting on a post. It's going to be interesting to see how that reacts to this round. There you go. All right. So now we're going to roll up there to seven hundred. I've got that uh, piece of steel, the house steel, that's existing. They use they use like this big one two inch steel man. It makes a hell of a wallop. Now let's go to seven hundred. Drop this down a little bit. Oh, eight hundred. I'm sorry. Where the hell's okay? Eight hundred's right there. And I'm using a rest today because I don't want that outside influence on what's going on. Uh, one more time, baby. There it is. I'm going to skip the nine hundred. Let's go straight to the thousand. A shift left. <sighs> Getting a little wind. Right to left. I don't think I hit that. Let's get some more ammo. Stand by. All right, guys, that was it, man. That was an absolute blast. And to be honest with you, there was a gentleman named Bill out there, and he was just cranking the half-size IDPA targets at five, 600, whatever it was. I mean, but I'm talking about the little six and seven inch deal. I wouldn't mind getting some targets like that with the uh, S hangers, because they do have the stands out there and make my life a little easier. In any case, uh, yeah, if you're interested in this uh, scope, kb32tac.com. I don't do enough to plug my uh, website. If you're interested in buying any kind of uh, firearms related accessories or whatever, kb32tag.com is a good good a website to go to. Uh, we are going to finish up on our high speed low drag build. We got the ballistic advantage barrel in and uh, very excited about that. And also we've got a that new series that's coming up. It's going to be starting about mid month on the budget versus elite build and uh, guys the elite is going to be bad um, but can it perform better than a budget rifle those are the key elements there a six hundred dollar rifle and a three thousand dollar rifle which one's going to perform better anyway uh i hope you had fun watching this video i know i did i had a blast it was frustrating getting the uh the, the editing done all the uh multiple cameras and there was nine ten different cameras running on that one little period right there 
and your computer will play havoc trying to mix those down. So in any case, uh, yeah, kb32tag.com. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. If you're interested in that scope with the Athena reticle, there will be a link down in there. Uh, that's it. Zero or 100 to 1,000 yards made easy. Thanks to Dimitri and the Apollo reticle built specifically for the 6.5 Creedmoor round. 140 grand. ELD. Let's go to Boy 32. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. And a special thanks to my children who uh, kept quiet during the time frame that I tried to do this video. Let's go to Boy 32 and I am out of here. Y'all be good.